But you see, I was born November 29th of 1971. I'm that one to one of Gail's and Bubba Hill's oldest son. Got a lot of big things planned and I just recently uh, posted that I'm looking for a donor and surrogate mother to carry both my lineage and my legacy on. Uh, it's going to involve, it's going to take a village and uh, it's a big task, but I'm hoping the people around me uh, support me in, in, uh, in this endeavor. Support me and be by my side in this endeavor. And um, I feel this is the appropriate approach to take. Uh, uh, the thing about it is it's a big task, so it's going to take longer than uh, expected. Uh, and I thank the uh, young ladies from abroad for uh, uh, sending in the info. Uh, my inbox has been bombarded. Uh, and I just appreciate that. So um, I'm going to answer each and every one of you. And then I'm going to get with family members and people that will be right there by my side and helping raise uh, this child and uh, include them in all aspects of it because this is bringing a life into uh, the world. And uh, it's going to be a big task. I mean, man, you know, I, I enjoy traveling and getting up and going where I want to go. Um, without any uh, interference. Uh, but uh, this is something that needs to be done and this is something that I wanna do. So respect that and if you can't, oh well. Uh, the good thing about this, I get to choose uh, what mother or what aspects or genes or makeup of the parent that I want. Uh, this is not like, you know, you're hooking up with someone and uh, you don't know if they have any type of medical or mental issues or you don't have, you don't know what type of spirits they have within them from past relationships because people need to realize that even guys, you know, we get these bodies on us, but uh, we, we bring on those spirits with that. Uh, they linger. So, um, Happy birthday to the fourth. Uh, uh, the journey has just begun as far as my political career, uh, if if any. And uh, let's do it. It's my birthday. I'm a I'm gonna turn it up in Louisiana. I'll see you soon. I thought I was actually coming uh, for my birthday, uh, but I had some obligations here that need to be taken care of. Thanks. Thirty three point three. So this will be update number four. As you can see, Mr. Hills came in and let us know his whole name. He's looking for a surrogate and he's looking to extend his lineage. Well, come to find out he already has kids. I did an update number three on that yesterday. And then Mr. Hills said that um, he wanted me to tag him so that he could see all of the misinformation. This is him re replying to me. So he knows that I'm making these videos. He came and asked me to make sure to tag him, which I did. And then he started with all of the comments in my post, but he never quite answered my question. Like, is that really you that's um, back $20,000 in child support arrears? He never answered that question. So then he started with the comments. He says, apparently I'm not qualified. And I'm like, absolutely. I wouldn't allow my body to be used by someone who is a felon with back child support. And like I said, he never, he never um, addressed my, my question or my assertion. He says, Google is just a search engine. Do you know that? Continue your sale of mugs. So apparently he's looking through my page and he believes that all I do is sell mugs because he has brought that up a couple of times in the commentary. I asked again, you paid off your arrears and your fraud charges? Good for you. Are you parenting your other kids? And then he says, young lady, if you're young, apparently my words struck a nerve, get off these Asian site 
and come where the woke queens are so they can teach you. So I'm like, so once again, no answer to the question if you're parenting your other kids. So this is where he says that he is debt free, retired and living in Hawaii. And he let me know that this is great coverage and to tag him. So I'll make sure to tag him. He thinks that this is good coverage. He then asked me why the queen got to be a bootleg surrogate and I'm in position to do so. So once again, I was like, OK, great. You created a network. He kept on letting me know that he has a network. But are you involved with your other kids that you created? That's what I'm wondering. I keep asking this question flat out and he keeps not answering. He says gossiping and trying to sell mugs and get likes and paying for followers. I own a copper colored indigenous man that owns a network. I own. Yeah, I'm sorry. I don't exactly know what this means, but he owns a social network. And the fact that he owns a social network and he is all in my comments for a while lets me know that he cannot be that busy on his network. Some more of his comments, because he has plenty of time despite owning a social networking site. He told me to flea fly you and your bought followers. I might buy a mug. And then he also tells me that he is the one doing the interviewing here on my page. He's interviewing. Um, he says, I pay the cost here. And he says, if your followers are not bought, which they are, apparently he really believes that I'm out here buying TikTok followers. All right. He tells me the only bootleg is your page trying to be seen. I love my queens and respect them enough to compensate them properly. But are you compensating um, your child's, your children's mother? And he let me know how many mugs have you sold? I have more than 3000 applications, I guess, applications to be his surrogate. Um, he says, sell a mug and stay out of folks business, especially spewing false information. Don't be mad because you don't qualify. And he told me that I am spewing false information, despite the fact that I keep asking him to I keep asking him, did you pay back your arrears and have you taken care of your fraud charge? So what am I talking about with the fraud charge? Sasha here says he went to jail for fraud. It's the second article. OK, what is Sasha talking about? Before I get to this article, I do want to let y'all know that Mr. Hills told us his birthday. He put it on social media and he told us his full name. OK, so this says Hill sentencing. This was for March 17th, 2011, when Mr. Hills, Oscar Hills, the fourth would have been 39. So this says man sentenced for fraud in Baton Rouge, Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Keep in mind that his TikTok name is Mr. Bootstick. OK, so it says U.S. Chief District Judge Ralph E. Tyson sentenced Oscar Hills IV, who was 39 at that time, of Baton Rouge, Louisiana, to 33 months in prison to pay restitution of $88,797.48 and to three years supervised release after imprisonment. Judge Tyson ordered Hills to pay restitution to Ascension Credit Union, Eagle Louisiana Federal Credit Union, and State Farm Fire and Casualty Company. Hills pled guilty. Hills pled guilty. Once again, Hills pled guilty on October 26, 2010, to four counts of wire fraud. Hills submitted a false and fraudulent claim for a storm loss to State Farm. In, in the course of investigating the false insurance claim, investigators discovered that Hills also submitted false and fraudulent documents to Ascension Credit Union and Eagle Louisiana Federal Credit Union, which caused losses to the credit union. The investigation of Hills was conducted by Special Agent Joseph Gahn of the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco and Fire, Firearms and Explosives. The case was prosecuted by Assistant U.S. Attorneys Renee Solomon and Susan Edmondson. So he pled guilty to this. Is it possible that there could have been another Oscar Hills IV of Baton Rouge who was 39 on October, um, I'm sorry, on March 17, 2011? Possibly, but you guys can connect those dots how you wish. So this is just another screenshot of the fact that Mr. Bootstake came over to my page and he just kept on bombarding me with comments. Um, he's making laugh emojis. He's telling me, shoe fly, don't bother me. He's letting me know that he is just so busy. He has um, a network and he is 100 percent done by a man of color. But he's on this TikTok page, like really talking to me. And I let him know that I have to go. But thanks for coming over. 
And he was like, I thought so. Shoe fly. Don't bother me. I was like, you keep commenting over here. I can't leave my own spot. I have to sell the mugs. I must consider the mugs. Y'all know I'm just so always pushing these mugs. <laughs> Anyways, if you guys do want some mugs, you can, I, I'll help you buy some. <laughs> Whatever. And then he continued, my bad. I'm sipping out of one now on a beach. Carry on. But get your facts right because people like myself reply, hope I'm helping those fake numbers. So he's like, I hope you get your facts right. But he doesn't come in with facts. And then he's like, um, come over to our page. We got ups.com. It's coming. OK, whatever. Um, and then he's also let me know that I am unqualified and salty. But like I said, I kept asking him to jump in and set the record straight. He never did. And I really, really hope that the women who um who are pick me, pick me to be a surrogate for this person understands that he is in arrears in child support. Or it was nineteen thousand back in twenty seventeen or twenty fifteen. It's probably over twenty thousand dollars now. So if he is in arrears in his child support, he has two kids already. And he's been, he's pled guilty to fraud. Why would you give your body to somebody like this? Why? 